In this video, I'm going to talk about what you can do to get the most out of the money you have while being here in Colombia. Welcome to How to Expat. My name is Sam and on How to Expat we help expats relocate. And in this video, I'm going to talk about how to get the most bang for your buck here in Colombia. I will talk about a couple of tips you need to know. First of all, this video is more for a, a shorter term stay uh, compared to a longer term, uh, term stay. Uh, if you're here for a, a, a longer period of time, we have other tips we covered in our Medellin e-guide. If you want to find out more about our Medellin e-guide, uh, the link is in the description down below. So let's start with the first point. So if you're here for a short period of time, you probably don't want to cook too much because you want to make the most out of the time you have. Uh, so you, that means you're probably going to eat out a lot. And the thing I found, which is kind of strange, is when you're in a new area and you're walking around uh, and you, yeah, you just know you're hungry and you want to go somewhere, most probably the thing that attracts you the most to the restaurant or bar or whatever that, that attracts you the most is most probably there where you have to spend more money. And I don't know why that is, it's just because probably we foreigners tend to like places that are quiet or organized, it looks nice from the inside. And just my experience shows that these places tend to be way more, uh, way more expensive yeah, than, than places that you're not attracted. So uh, let's say just a, a nice little corner restaurant with plastic chairs and stuff like that. These places tend to be really gems if you're on a budget. So make sure to think about that. Not being, not trying to be attracted to a place, but really figuring out, okay, I think that place could be a real budget option. That's gonna save you around 50% just on dining and eating out uh, in general. Then let's stay with food. Um, one great thing in Colombia you can find is the menu del dia or it's also called menu ejecutivo or yeah, you have different names, but in, in every city of Medellin or in every place, place on, on, in Colombia you have that. And the real cool thing about that is very, very inexpensive. So we already talked about that in our cost of living video. Um, yeah, it's not untypical to get something for 8,000 uh, Colombian peso to, pesos, which is around $2.50 for a juice, a soup and a great meal. So make sure if you're on a budget to try to find spots which offer the true Colombian menu del dia. Then rent. If you really want to save on costs, you most probably the best idea surely is to get a room instead of an apartment. And you can get a room in, in Colombia in the cities, let's say for 150 US dollars and up. So it's very, very inexpensive to stay here if you know how to do it. A great tip I talked about how to get a room in our how to get a room video is use Comparto Apto. If you want to find out more about that, the video is the link down below. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to show you how you can use that to get a room as low as 150 US dollars a month. So with groceries, this point ties a little bit into point number one, which I made about uh, don't be attracted to a nice restaurant because you pay more there. It's the same thing with supermarkets. So I find a lot of foreigners are uh, attracted by the store named Karuja. Karuja is, let's say, an upscale store. It has nice bread, organic food, everything looks nice and shiny, especially uh, a lot of uh, how they are designed is more uh, the American way, I would say. So, yeah, foreigners tend to be attracted to what they know and they tend to go to the Karuja. And let me just tell you, Karuja is around 30 to even 40% higher on, on the cost you spend there than in a local tienda, so in a local shop. So make sure uh, to, to shop in, in, in something that's called Justo y Bueno eh, or, yeah, they're all over Colombia or the traditional... Um, uh, corner shops here in Colombia that just sell meat like the butcher or a vegetable shop or something like that. You can save a lot uh, on groceries there. If you're not just here for a short period of time but a long period of time and you want to make the most out of the time you have, you maybe have a little savings and you want to just expand the time frame you have 
A great thing is to get uh, either earn some money on the side or volunteer. So let me just first talk about earning money on the side. So that could be with, uh, or most people do it with teaching English. So that could be online or maybe here in the school. But this is surely a great way to expand the time frame you have here in Colombia to spend time with. What we did to save as much money as we can or to extend the time frame as much as we could was volunteering. There is a great website uh, which is called um, WorkAway. Uh, the link is in the description down below where you can trade uh, your labor, let's say, uh, for accommodation. So what we did in South America is working for hostels, taking care of dogs, whatever. And yeah, you can, at times we, we, we spent no money at all per day we spent in, in, in this place. So a lot of backpackers talk about uh, spending 20, 30 bucks uh, a day. And we spent literally, literally zero dollars a day. This was really great. Uh, you can do that. There are some cool options out there. Uh, in Costa Rica, for example, saving turtles or in Ecuador, we took care of dogs or yeah, many, many different options are out there. I highly recommend uh, using Workaway if you're more the adventurous type and really want to make the most out of your trip in Latin America or Colombia. Then generally, I think what a lot of people don't really realize, uh, especially because prices even in the big Colombian cities are very, very good, is that if you go outside, it's even less. So let me just tell you, if you spend, for example, your time in Medellin, it will probably be twice the expense you will have if you go out to a place like Rio Negro. Rio Negro is like 45 minutes an hour outside of uh, Medellin. It also has great amenities, great hospitals, you won't miss anything there. It's just not a big city. But if you're outside there, you can get rent from 50, $100. That's surely possible. Uh, groceries tend to be cheaper. Uh, restaurants tend to be cheaper. So you can save even more than what you would in a already um, not so expensive city like Medellin. Yeah, maybe Bogota is, is quite expensive, but Medellin, Pereira or something like that. It's, yeah, you can get so much for money for a uh, bank for your buck, let's say, in a, the little, let's say, outskirts of the big cities. So yeah, that's pretty much it from people I've heard and talked to uh, the lowest figures of cost of living, not cost of living, but what it uh, needs to, to be able to survive, let's say groceries, um, going out, uh, rent, stuff like that. So not included insurance and stuff. It could really be possible to live here for 500, 600, 800 US dollars per month. Uh, that's really great. Of course, you know you uh, need to know how to do that, like in the, with the points I mentioned in the video. And of course, that's really only possible if you rent a room uh, on the local site like Comparto Apto. Otherwise, yeah, cost of living tends to be for most expats way more than a thousand bucks a month. But yeah. Just for you, it is possible if you're the adventurous type, if you're the type that just needs a room, uh, it's surely possible to live here for less than a thousand bucks a month. So if you have a military pension, social security or whatnot, and are more the adventurous type, you can make it happen here in Colombia. So that was already it. Uh, don't forget, we have a great website with a lot of articles about living uh, life in Colombia, a free country test and much, much more. So make sure to check it out now.